And new at 11, a new drive to make protesters like these face tougher punishments. One state lawmaker taking action after a few protesters caused big headaches for thousands tonight. Those people who shut down I-93 are walking free after their day in court. People caught up in the traffic mess are fuming. New Center 5's John Atwater is live in Milton. John. And JC, you know, a lot of people really can't believe that these protesters are back home tonight. But because of what happened out here this morning, there is a new effort tonight to change the punishment. For hours, they snarled the morning commute. No comment. No comment. But when we asked for an explanation, get away from my vehicle. No one even had a moment to stop and talk about the disruption. There's a public statement. Tell us about that public statement. And why? Why did you? Sorry, no, no comment. The message was lost on thousands of drivers who idled for hours as police delicately cut the protesters from 1,200 pound barrels full of concrete they dragged onto I 93 in Milton. I think, if anything, they made everybody a lot more mad. I 93 South in Medford, the other morning target of the group, which says it's in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. It was around their arrest. Then they would reach inside and connect themselves to the bolt. Protesters there locked hands in PVC pipes as they laid out a human chain across all lanes of traffic. In all, 29 were hauled into court, though all were released until their next hearing. Some people want punishment. Hold them in overnight is punishment, but they don't understand the legal system. As some protesters left court, they smiled and laughed with their friends, but any humor in what they're accused of doing is lost on state rep Colleen Gary, who just filed a bill that could make protests like these felonies. If someone is injured because somebody is blocking the roadway or highway, then it needs to be called attempted murder. Now, these protesters are facing charges like trespassing and disorderly conduct. And while they're not talking about their protest tonight, they did release a statement which says, in part, that they wanted to disrupt a capitalist structure built on economic exploitation of minorities. We're live in Milton tonight. John Atwater, WCVB News Center 5.